Nearly again from Sokwe Serpenter. Today we are going to do some backyard gardening, you know, and we have prepared a bed here. And we're going to plant some tomato trees which I have in this bucket here. Well, the dry season, we are well into the dry season, so what we call crop time. So let's do this, right? Right here, put me. We have nice sandy soil here. We got next one, Nicholas. Planting them about, um, I would say about 18 inches apart. Next one. Put a feet in, We are out in the kitchen garden and um, just want to share with you some, seven reasons why you should have a kitchen garden. And it says that you can get fresh herbs whenever you want. You know exactly what you are putting into your food. You know, you grow your thing organic. And of course, when you buy, because there are so much chemicals being used today. It works out cheaper when you grow your own food. You know the price of, the price of stuff today are very exorbitant, you know, so when you grow your own your own stuff it tends to work out much cheaper. You have your own kitchen garden. You get a common dose of nature. It's also said that plants repel mosquitoes. So, just taking you through my kitchen garden here. I, I recently planted some tomatoes here. And, um, you know, so far, they have been doing really good. Um, if you look carefully, you might see one starting to flower here already. Um, you know, this is the dry season in Trinidad. And, um, you know, it's what we call crop time. Get some crops on the ground, you know food security is very important so we have some tomatoes here I have some sticks that um, are already cut you know and recently um, Caleb came up with an idea he said daddy don't don't buy any string to tie these tomatoes on uh, so I said what what, what, are, what are we gonna use to, to um, tie these tomato tree against these sticks so I'm gonna just share a little trick with you that he taught me and I was very much amazed by it. So yeah, so Caleb told me not to buy any string to tie those tomato tree against those sticks. So what, here's what here's what he showed me. Go ahead, go ahead, Caleb. So he's in the dashing patch now. Right. So we're gonna he, he cut this the stalk off the dashing there, and he split it down the center. Good. You break it in half. Right. So let me see the string you got there. Right. So you oh, so you're just removing the center from it. Let me see how strong that string is. Let me see. Let's kind of put it together. Let me see. Put it. So this is very strong. I'm All right. So this is um the back of the of the uh, baji. So we're gonna use this. Uh, gonna 
एकदम नॉर्मल है सो दिस वाज किल अ बाय डे अ वेरी ब्रिलियंट आईडिया यू नो दिस यंग माइंड्स अ वेरी इनोवेटिव when you told me about it i thought it wouldn't work but this is so strong really just to keep them erect Um, yard long bean, and um, we call it bodhi in our part. It's a good source of protein, vitamin A, thiamine, riboflavin, iron, phosphorus, potassium. It is also a very good source for vitamin C, folate, magnesium, manganese. It is used in uh, Chinese, Indian, Malaysian, and Filipino cuisine. It can be steamed. boil or fry and combine with other ingredients such as shrimp or potato you can even make a bori rice um it is served curry as an indio chini indio guyanese dish um just to give you an idea um let's see how long this one is there we have um it's about uh it's about 42 inches Forty two inches long. Yeah, about forty two inches long. There you have it, folks. Eat green, eat bori. Please have seen some of the pimento pepper. Go ahead, please. Sila mi kolit, sila mi kolit. Ako pa sa mga ni, mga ni kolit. Ay si kolit kito nito. Yela sa nat. Yaa pito biha, bisyo niya yung 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 kap. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Is it important that you have it, sir? Okay. Alright, kill up water in the celery. We have some celery growing here. Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> <laughs> fix, fix that, fix that spray can anyway. We have some celery planted <laughs> here in this barrel here. We have some on. Papa. We have a bike of water in this plant there. I think it's important that we teach them a little bit of food security, you know, don't to grow their own crops. Waiting? Yeah. Is that a good thing? Mm-hmm. Okay, I just uprooted this oak tree. from my backyard but um you know i didn't get too much of a good bearing from the tree and when i check carefully i noticed that there's some rot some nuts sorry in the root system and it looked like that of the nematodes yeah look at look at them carefully just going to wash it out here so you have a better look at it so i have a serious problem in my hand here with root nut nematodes I don't like to use chemical, you know. So I have to find an organic way to treat with this. My tomato tree I uprooted, and um, I realized that you know the flowers and they were dropping out, 
it wasn't bare at all at all but when I uprooted it look at this root knot nematodes I think I have a big problem here with this nematode we need to treat this We are now getting better yields from these tomatoes. Why? Because we planted some French marigold that is known to be particularly effective against root nut nematodes. But this is a very good alternative versus using chemicals as we all know that are harmful for the environment. So that's a good gardening tip for you all out there folks. Here in Trinidad, during the dry season, we have an average temperature during the day of 32 degrees to about 36 degrees Celsius. And mulching is something that is done to keep that moisture within the plant. And here are some benefits of mulching. It reduces sun damage. It suppresses weed growth, it retains moisture that is lost through evaporation, it reduces soil erosion. Some mulches can insulate crop from extreme temperature and presently we are in the dry season and we have temperatures that climb up to about 36 degrees Celsius. Organic mulch, like the one used here, provides soil nutrients and encourages beneficial soil organism and worm activity. Well, the lime tree is starting to bear some lime now. Have some lime in the lime tree here right now. And the Julie Mango said I put some flowers. So we expecting to get some Julie Mango soon. We're looking forward to that, you know. You know when mango comes in the season is chow. I love a, a Julie Mango chow, you know. Okay folks, in concluding I want to encourage you, you all to grow a backyard garden because I mean when you could walk into your backyard and just harvest these herbs and vegetables, how, how do you feel when you do that Caleb? How, how do you feel when you harvest? Grateful. You feel? Grateful. Alright, so Caleb is feeling grateful for his harvest. Alright, so I encourage folks, grow a backyard garden. If you don't have the space, you can use these drums and buckets like I have here with ginger. Alright, so again, please subscribe and support my channel.